Alright then guys, so here we are, ready to do the brickwork. First job I'm going to do is I'm going to cut 100mm cavity out here just to continue the cavity into the new extension. So we've got to get all the materials over the garden. That's all the materials delivered now. Need to get them from this garden <laughs> to this garden because that garden's not ours. That's going nowhere. We got set up now using some old polycarbonate sheets for a spot board to do the job because they won't soak any water out of the mortar so it's hot enough so yeah <laughs> it's just in case any moisture gets inside the cavity somewhere for it to drop out we're gonna put our wee paws on there like so Got a damp course underneath. I just need to get another course on there and then. <laughs> Who's this we've got here working with us? Nice. Jang's back from Thailand. He's pointing up the back like a good lad. Uh, oh, we're good. 
We're good, I mean, you keep it gauged and you're gonna be level, aren't you? As long as your footing's level. Okay, we've got the block work up to eight courses, looking good. Now we're going to jump onto the brickwork. You can see there, we've got our ties every two courses and we've got them staggered. Staggered just means like, instead of on top of each other, offset, so you've got like a diamond shape, you see. I didn't show you this because I was busy cracking on, but I've, as you can see, I have uh, put those, rest of those wall starters in with the damp behind that. There's a requirement as well, so. And I've overlapped it like that, not the other way. There's a bed in damp again, isn't it? The reason we do this is any moisture that gets us out of the cavity can run down there, all right, and then we're going to put these wheat vents in our joints. All right. Right, so these are our wheat vents. I'm gonna put them every four brick or so. All right, and that just goes in there, dry. And then your next brick goes up to it. You know what I mean? Here's our next brick, okay? That just goes dry to it, okay? So. Simple as that. I'll show you raw mortar in another video. Yeah. Oh. Once you get past this, we'll be okay. Drying like mad, so I'm having to go like the clappers, really. It's a fight against the mortar drying, you see. There, so we've got it up five courses. Five courses, slow progress, so hot, and we've got a dilemma because. Uh, we don't need to finish it, so I'm going to get the customer around. So I've jointed that half and I've raked that half out. What do you reckon? Uh, I was just thinking this could possibly make my life easier because of the heat. If I was doing this, I'd have to stop and join nearly every course, which would be a nightmare and I'd probably be here an extra three days or something <laughs> in total because just think having to stop and join, it's just stop start all the time. But with this finish, I could just carry on, build the whole wall and then rake it out at the end. You know what I mean? Well, I don't know. What do you reckon if you was the customer? Jointed or raked out? So, uh, well, I'm gonna put that in because. And just gotta make do the best we can with these bricks, haven't we? Yeah. Okay. okay. No, down in there, and then wiggle. Yeah, that's it. Now you've got the job. Lee's got the job as well. it for today guys really really struggled actually it's the mortar it's just drying so so fast it's unbelievable so probably only gonna do tomorrow morning and then have the afternoon off and then come back at night or something like that so we'll work it anyway but yeah it's very very hard because that as soon as, as soon as it's out the mixer it's going off we shall get there we always do don't we